Hey everybody. I want to make a quick video on a company we just started carrying called Leadstar Arms. Um, they are, I guess, fairly new to to the game, maybe five years or, or something, if I recall. Um, in the AR-15 world, that's pretty young. But I, I don't see a lot of information about them around. Um, I ran across them. What they offered looked pretty nice. I reached out to him about a dealer setup and a uh, guy Mike over there is the, the sales manager and he got back to me pretty quickly. Um, answered all my questions. Uh, I had a few simple, simple questions. Um, one of them was uh, lead time. Lead time is a big thing right now and everybody lies about their lead times. Um, one month turns to six months. Uh, one week turns to, to back ordered. Um, <laughs> First thing I asked them was lead times. What are they actually like? Um, I know on their website it says up to 12 weeks. Contact your dealer. He told me three to four weeks lead time. Now, I'm telling you all this, not that it really matters to you as a consumer, but as a dealer, it's big. And ultimately, as a consumer, I think it says a lot about their product. We'll get into that. So, he told me three to four weeks. I asked him if that was just sunshine and rainbows being shoved up my ass, if it was a real estimate. He said, no, probably sooner. That is a worst case scenario. Um, they'll be shipping in three or four weeks from the time you place an order. Uh, oftentimes, it's quicker than that, a couple days, three, four days even, just depending on if they're, they're building that batch that I ordered. Um, he wasn't lying. About five days after I placed an order, I got a notification that uh, half of my order was shipping already. That was a pleasant surprise. About a couple of days after that, I got another notification that the other half of it was shipping already. So less than two weeks, I would say. Um, that says a lot to about a company to me. Um, in general, the the way they do business, I think, reflects a lot on the kind of product that they are probably putting out. So if they're not lying and just trying to get in as much orders as they can while they're getting this good and then dealing with the repercussions later of everybody being mad about lead times. That means a lot to me as a business and it should as a consumer as well mean a lot to you. Um, first thing you look up with this is hearsay about Palmetto State Armory owns Lead Star. Truish. JJE Capital owns Lead Star. They also own Palmetto State Armory and a handful of other businesses, all revolving around the manufacturing of guns, I believe. Um, I can tell you right away, as soon as you pull this out of the box, even though the box is almost identical to the Palmetto boxes that their ARs come in, it's got like a nicer finish, but basically the same. The rifle, though, or pistol in this regard, is much nicer immediately you realize the finish is much nicer um, I would have to say that the machining is nicer there is zero I mean no receiver slop in it at all and I checked the whole shipment they're all like this is not like a one-off cherry-picked thing um, the coating on the bolt carrier it's a nitride QPQ finish bolt carrier barrel that muzzle device on the end there, not a compensator, like a blast diverter on this 10 and a half inch barrel. It's all nice, it's smooth, it's even, it's a beautiful like satiny finish, not a gloss, but it's not dull, crappy looking finish that you see on a lot of ARs. Um, it's actually, it's hard to see maybe, the camera can see in there. Yeah, 223 Wild Barrel. If you know anything about those barrels, a lot of people don't. Um, I didn't know a lot of it until recently. That's basically a, a it's not 223 or 556. Five, it can shoot either, um, but it's supposedly better than either and more accurate than either of those. I didn't know that until I saw it on this barrel, so that is pretty awesome. They make competition guns and accuracy guns. This is like their, their introduction into like more duty and defense style, but they're carrying over a lot of that, uh, the features that they use in their competition shooting guns. That's a nice barrel for a sub $1,000 AR-15. Let's get to that. 
MSRP on these is like nine fifty. Um, this is gonna maybe piss some people off. Handling this, feeling it, seeing the quality in it, um, man, I've handled a lot of uh, Daniel defenses, and I can I can say without a doubt. I haven't shot this, I'm being fair here, I have not shot this. I've shot Daniel Defenses. There's nothing wrong with them, they're great. But for nearly twice the MSRP of this, this one feels nicer quality. It looks like nicer quality. Um, sorry, I just pissed some people off. I wouldn't pay nearly $2,000 for a Daniel Defense when I can get this for half as much. There's really just no argument against that if you've actually held one of these. Now, I'll shoot one of these and, and try to back that up. Um, I'm pretty confident it's it's going to go as expected. It's going to go well. What else do I got on this? It's really... I guess that covers it. Um, it's got a little nicer trigger on it, and then a mil spec. It's, it's a little bit lighter. The charging handle is extended from the factory. It's got a QD end plate right there. It's got QD on the rails. The rail is an 11 inch, and it kind of shrouds that a bit, gives you a little more real estate on that 10 and a half inch barrel. It's kind of nice. They do, I see this asked a lot online when in my search for this company. A lot of people ask about putting a suppressor on the end of this will not work with the 11 inch handguard, but they make a 10 inch handguard specifically for suppressor use that you can order the rifle with that, I'm sorry, the pistol with that, or you can always order it um, afterwards and it, it's not very expensive and it swaps out extremely easy if you wanted to put a suppressor on the end of it. That was one of my questions I had as well because um, I'm a big fan of cans and uh, I want everybody else to be a big fan of cans too. So something I wanted to cover with them before I started carrying something that I knew you just were kind of stuck never being able to suppress it. Um, this is this, their cement gray. It's a little darker than it looks on their websites. Um, none of the labeling is super intrusive. It's definitely kind of everywhere on it, but it's, it's not, it doesn't kill it for me. It doesn't like stick out or look super gaudy. Um, I think this brand is going to start blowing up. There's just not a lot out on them right now that I can find. But once you start getting into people's hands, this is this is a ready-to-go firearm. You don't need to upgrade anything. You need to throw an optic on it, and you just need to start shooting the shit out of it. Um, I'm going to do that, and I'm actually going to go ahead and get one coming with a 10-inch handguard. So I can kind of put it through its paces with and without a suppressor on it and see how it does. And uh, hopefully I'll have time to report back on that. But yeah, overall extremely happy that we are going to be uh, dealing with these now. Um, we have a half dozen in stock at this point, uh, different colors. They're all pistol variants right now because those are just hot. They move a whole lot quicker than the 16 inch barrel ones. But uh Maybe that's just because of this administration, everybody's fear. They gotta get all them pistol braces before they run out. I don't know. I think that covers it. Super pleased with it. I actually like the color a lot. It's got some FDE ones. They make a green, but it's uh, it didn't really look good, at least on the picture, so I didn't bother ordering any of those. My wife's got her green one already, so that's enough green. Um, I wish it had a shorter throw safety selector and maybe a little bit bigger bolt catch release um, that would really make this 100% perfect anyways that's it have a good one